Hello there, welcome to the clinic. So today's Oculus session is dedicated to looking for any anterior eye pathology using a special piece of equipment. So just allow me to focus the machinery. And then we're going to focus on the lids and lashes to begin with, looking for any common problems or defects. We seem to be focused there. Okay, we don't want it too bright. Don't want to create any unnecessary photophobia. Okay, so let's focus with a low magnification here. And I'm just going to observe the eye from the side there. Light across, looking for any gross abnormalities, any lumps or bumps. To change the filter there. Okay, so let's look through the slit lamp. I'm just going to Increase the magnification there. Now I'm just going to look at the lids. I'm looking for any xanthelasma, upper and lower. Okay, now we're looking for any milia. And under the lower lid, most commonly. Okay, I'm going to just bring the magnification in there a little bit more. I'm just focusing on the lashes. Ensuring there's no trichiasis or any polyosis. The lashes are pointing in the correct direction there. Just going to look on the lid margin now where the tarsal glands are found. Ensure there's no blockages. And to the upper lid, just look up to the ceiling. Have a temporal to nasal there. Just going to look for any cysts on the upper margin, particularly mole or zeiss cysts. And down to the lower lid margin, and there's no signs of any cysts there. to bring my attention to the conjunctiva, the clear membrane, covers the sclera. Just look to the left and look to the right. Okay, 
so there may be signs nasally of some stromal degeneration which is manifesting as a pinguecula the nasal part of the conjunctiva there no apparent hyperemia on or around the pinguecula I look to your left side, just looking for any retention cysts or pterygium. Okay, now just look up to the ceiling. No signs of any hyperemia cysts and the inferior conjunctiva. I look down to the floor now. Let's lift that upper lid and there's no evidence of pathology on the superior part there. Excellent. Just checking the limbal area. neovascularization and look up again quickly and look down again looks fine let's move our way to the cornea the window of the eye should be nice and transparent No signs of Arcus. No evidence of limbal girdle. Or crocodile chagrin. Alright, let's see if we can switch to a different filter here the blue light and a maximum beam width and brightness. There we go, a little bit brighter there, but a bit softer than the white light. And we're going to pop some sodium fluorescein into the eye. Okay, you won't feel this. Look up to the ceiling. One drop in the lower part of the eye. And I'm just going to incorporate this special rattan filter. Just there. Okay, now just continue to look in this direction. I'm going to observe the corneal integrity there. any areas where the dye may bind or pull on the corneal surface. It can show up as specks or lines, abrasions. Wonderful. That's looking nice and clear. Just going to bring the light an angle there and thin the beam. There we go, a thinner beam. And I'm just performing a cross sectional view of the cornea. Looking towards the dial here. Layers of the cornea, you can see the epithelium, abomens, the stromal layer, desmonds, and the endothelium. Have a 
nice clear endothelium. The stroma is nice and transparent. I'm going to focus my attention on the corneal endothelium. Looking for any signs of dystrophy. I had beaten metal appearance. Looking for any Krukenberg spindle or general pigment dispersion. my attention going forward a little bit more onto the anterior iris surface I'm going to do a general sweep looking for any freckles any signs of uh, pigment deposits just look up the collarettes and the crypts and they're looking to the left and looking to the right also looking for any nodules Now I'm going to check for any iris transillumination. Okay, we have to bring this down a little bit. And I'm just going to increase the brightness. There. Just look in this direction. I'm just going to ensure there's no trans illumination. Oh, the iris there, that's fine, no evidence of any laser or surgical interventions there on the iris, the pupil is round, no evidence of peaked pupil Look down to the floor once again. Right. Okay, I'm going to bring the attention back a little bit to the conjunctiva and scleral surface. Look up to the ceiling. blood vessels in a little bit more detail. Look down to the floor please. And the superior portion. Look to your left. And the anterior lens surface here, just to finish off the assessment. Looking for any deposits on the lens surface, any signs of pigment dispersion or pseudo exfoliation. beam down, I'm going to just perform a cross-sectional view of the crystalline lens. 
Just ensuring there's no pathology there, so just cataract. Okay, so apart from the nasal pinguecula, which isn't causing any problems in the nasal part of the right eye, I'd say everything's looking good there. Okay, that concludes the examination. Thank you for coming in today.